हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लर्न वन लास्ट टाइम वी कंप्लीटेड आर सेकंड चैप्टर एंड दैट वाज ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड डेटा टाइप्स इन आर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज हैंडलिंग स्ट्रिंग्स इन आर इन द सेकंड चैप्टर वी सॉ डेटा टाइप्स एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन दैट वी सॉ न्यूमेरिक वी सॉ कैरेक्टर वी सॉ लिस्ट वी सॉ फैक्टर्स एंड सो फोर्थ इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द कैरेक्टर वैक्टर्स दैट वी कॉल एज हैंडलिंग स्ट्रिंग्स इन आर बेसिकली वेन वी डू डेटा mining or we do data manipulation we think most of the data will be of numeric type but that's not the fact you also have characters and string type of data in your data and you need to all know how do you manipulate them so this is just a glimpse how do you handle the string and the character types of data when you do data manipulations now let's see what are the topics that we are going to study in this chapter we will see character strings how do you create them we will see how different our objects react or have an impact of character strings on them we will see basic data manipulations we will see set operations for strings and last we will see a dedicated package of string r that is used for string manipulations so let us see how do you create character vector in r you can mention a string with a single quotes or double quotes if you want to create a character vector with the use of a function then you can use character function which is on your screen character and empty parentheses and that you can mention the string data now the next topic is how do different data types are impacted by use of strings we had seen this in previous chapters but we'll repeat them in this chapter also so you have a vectors when we were seeing the definition of a vector we discussed all the elements of in the vector are of same type so if you have five elements in that you have four elements numeric and one element that is of string or character type then entire vector will be coords to the character type same is the case with the matrices if you have 10 elements in your matrix and a single element is of type string or a character then entire matrix will be coerced to the type of character matrix this is not the case with data frames and lists in data frames you have multiple columns one column can be of type numeric second column can be of type character this character column cannot have any impact on the numeric type however if you have for example 100 rows in a data frame and five columns and in column 1 if you have 99 elements that are of type numeric and one of type character then the entire column will be coerced to the type of character and hence you need to take care of this type of data before going for data manipulations we also saw about lists that in a list all the data types the original data types are maintained if you have numeric or character or logical they are as it is in the lists so this was all about the theory part of handling strings in r in the next topic the demo of handling strings in r